Well, the report is here. It's due out tomorrow and everyone in Washington on pins and needles. We're talking about the Department of Justice's Inspector General report that will be released. And it's going to examine the DOJ's handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation. In April, Inspector General Michael Horowitz's probe condemned former FBI director, Deputy Director Andrew McCabe for leaking information to the media prior to the 2016 election. Now, Horowitz is uh, he's already scheduled to defend his findings to Congress at back to back hearings next week. With me now to give us their thoughts, Cameron Smith, former Senate Judiciary C uh, Committee Counsel to Jeff Sessions, current and current R Street Institute Vice President, Lawrence Jones and Adrian. Adrian Elrod are back as well. Let me start with you, Cameron. Um, what can we, what do you think we can expect from this report? I don't think James Comey is going to be particularly excited, but I know that people at the Department of Justice will be because this is evidence of the process working. We're seeing the inspector general look at the facts, look at the law, see if there's irregularities here. See if there's something that requires more attention, maybe a referral or something along those lines. This isn't evidence of the deep state. This is evidence that the process works. Adrian? Yeah, I mean, look, we've already heard uh, some rumblings about what may be in the IG report, including the fact that James Comey likely uh, handled the email inv investigation unfairly, that he overreached. We, I will never, of course, forget the July press conference in 2016 when he stood at the podium for 15 minutes and injected his own opinion into the way Hillary Clinton handled her private email server, only to say, by the way, we're not going to uh, impose any criminal charges on her. So, again, that's not the job of the FBI to director to be a pundit. I think that the IG is going to look into this. And I also think that his, the IG's testimony in front of Congress will be where the real information comes out. Yeah, Lawrence, of course, uh, Comey and how he handles the overall investigation particularly to Adrian's point, uh, the, the exoneration memo, a lot of question marks around that, the conflicts involving Andrew McCabe and all the other conflicts out there. So uh, I, I, for one, am hoping that we get some serious resolution on this. There's a lot of speculation out there and, and, and maybe even moving this ball forward. Well, I, I, I suspect we'll start getting reads of this report real soon, considering that he'll be uh, the Department of Justice will be briefing the president uh, first on this, and I can just imagine the president starting to let the public know before um, the report actually comes out. At the end of the day, the American people deserve to know the truth. They deserve to know what took place, um, especially when we've seen so many messages back and forth of uh, the corruption that is in the Department of Justice, that is in uh, the leadership of the FBI. And I think the American public deserves answers, and hopefully we'll get some answers in this report. The the question is, what's the next step? Are they going to prosecute these people or are they going to uh, refrain from prosecuting them because they're friends? Well, I, I think uh, to your point, though, Cameron, this is a chance for the DOJ to sort of uh, to, to sort of hit the reset button, isn't it? It's, it's a chance to say, hey, everyone has to acknowledge there's serious issues, particularly with the leadership uh, you know, and, and all these agents that were involved in this investigations and the emails that have gone, the personal vendettas and whether they were acted upon or not. This is a great chance now for the Department of Justice to go and really reset this whole thing in a way that ultimately can regain a sort of stature and the belief that American public needs to have in a DOJ. Absolutely. This is an important institution for our republic. We need to have confidence in it. And if we don't, because we think it's corrupt, we think it's a bad institution, we have a huge problem as a nation. I think this process, though it's lengthy, I'm sure that there are plenty in Congress who'd like this to be wrapped up quickly, didn't like waiting a year for their answers. Now we're going to get them. They're going to be reliable. They're going to be things that we can learn more about. Right. And this is evidence that, hey, we're rooting out the problem, not that the problem is pervasive. You know, Jeff, hope, uh, yeah. One second real quick, Lawrence, because you know Jeff Sessions very well. Um, what you, what's happening there? What, what, I, he's, he's virtually vanished. Is he going to reappear? Can he reassert himself in some of these issues that are bogging on this nation right now? I, I think this is about the rule of law to him. This is about the process. This is about doing his job and not making headlines. And that's something that I, I like. I want justice to be very boring. I want it to be reliable based on the facts and the application of the law to reach a conclusion that's not politicized, that's not a snap judgment. Snap judgments make for bad justice. And so we're seeing a thorough process here. Lawrence? 
He has been in the headlines, and it's because he refused to cooperate with Congress. This is a former member of Congress that once pressured uh, the DOJ in past situations to release information. And th that's one problem that I have with this IG report, the fact that it does have to go through Jeff Sessions and Rod Rosenstein uh, to look at uh, and make corrections within that report. The fact is that this attorney general has almost been worse than uh, Holder. Uh, he refused to cooperate with Congress. He refuses to give them information. And I think both both parties should be uh, critical of this attorney general, because well, I guarantee you, if it was a Democrat, we would be just as critical of him. All right. Well, we'll all know a lot more tomorrow. Uh, thank you all very much. In the meantime.